Hello, loyalties, and welcome to Loki Dies in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, it's finally out. It's been out a while. In fact, I put over 30 odd hours into that particular save file, which means I have some knowledge as to what's going to be going on for some of the things. Um, at the start of each run, as you can see, the save files now. We've started a brand new save file for, for this year's series. So it's press tab to input a seed. At the start of each run, I'm going to try and remember to show you the seed. So if you'd like, you could play along with me, etc. See if you can do better or worse than me and stuff. So the seed is 8AVOJ8Y8. And if you put that in at that screen there, you'll start off in exactly the same location and have the same run as me. Although you won't get to unlock any achievements and stuff if you do a seeded run, this is worth pointing out. But you can sort of challenge yourself to see if you can do better than me or see if you can do as well as me because I'm obviously going to be amazing and stuff. We all remember my other, my other series. <laughs> um, that said, this is uh, Reaper. This isn't the other series. It has all the stuff from the original Binding of Isaac plus an absolute ton more. So it should be interesting to see how this goes. I, I, I want to say I am better than I was at the previous one. <laughs> this also it proved incredibly difficult to set up to record. I've had so many problems trying to record this. So hopefully this one will go well. Obviously you guys won't know if it doesn't, because it won't go on YouTube if it doesn't record. But uh, yeah, hopefully it should go alright. You know what, I'm going to get that, and the reason I'm going to get that... Boom! Oh, I should have put a bomb over here then as well, there's a hex there. Right, the reason I'm going to get that is so I can open this here goldy chest. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's got another bomb in it, convenient. Now, I, despite the massive number of hours I have put into this game, there is still a lot I do not know. But I know more about the game in general and, you know, how to actually play, I suppose. What have we got here? Teleporter! Uh, sure, okay. <laughs> Scoop. Well, that took us straight to the shop. That's less than useful for us at the moment, although it does give me an opportunity to point this machine out, the donation machine. The more money you put in that, the better the shop gets. Uh, it is at intervals, obviously. Right, I think the first one's 50, then 100, then 200, so like that sort of thing. Uh, I am currently playing with a controller. You can probably hear clicky clacky noises. That's uh, two reasons for that. Firstly, my laptop is very much on its way out. I think it's mostly due to old age. Um, one of the problems it has is actually with the letter S. Uh, anyone who's ever spoken to me, be it on Skype or what, whatever, has probably noticed I occasionally leave out the letter S. That's because for some reason on my keyboard it just doesn't work sometimes. No idea why. Um, and uh, with a keyboard control scheme, S is generally the button you use to move in a certain direction. But I do quite like using the controller for this game. It does work really well with it. So it's not such a big deal for me. Boom! Ah! Well, golden key is nice, I suppose. Where do you think the boss room is? Well, it's going to be down here somewhere, isn't it? Rebirth includes bigger rooms like this one. And in bigger rooms, there tends to be more bad guys. Uh, flies not posing much of a problem. Unfortunately, sometimes the bigger rooms include boss rooms. <laughs> and bigger boss rooms mean more bosses. There's usually two in a boss room. Uh, Rainbow Poop. As far as I know, that just fully heals you. That's all I've worked out from that. Wow. That's a champion one. This is a bit early on, isn't it? I've literally just started this save file. I did go on the right save file, didn't I? I hope I went on the right so far. <laughs> In theory, this is our first ever run. There shouldn't be a champion there. That's not right. Oh, bloody hell, just die already. <laughs> Thank you. Money. So our first box, boss, box. First boss is Larry Jr. I don't mind him. He's an easy boss. He's, you guys will remember him from the, uh, the first Binding of Isaac game, of course. 
Uh. I, I say that, I'm not going to get my ass handed to me by him, am I? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind him so much. There's, there's a few bosses that show up on the first floor, uh, including two new bosses. One of them's called Dingle, which I absolutely hate. He is a little shit, quite literally, as it happens. <laughs> but he's got... Although his attack pattern is really predictable, it's a, apparently surprisingly easy to dodge. I, I, he always seems to get me, and I don't know how. Tears plus shot speed up. Yeah, we like that. Yeah, I don't know how, but he always seems to get me. Sorry about that, froze for a moment there. That's actually a problem with my laptop at the moment as well. The display driver keeps crashing. Anyhow, we shall persevere. Wibbly wibbly. Basement 2. Apparently we're not going in there. <laughs> now, another thing about Rebirth is some of the things that previously were not worthwhile doing are now worthwhile doing, and some of the things that previously may have been the best thing ever are no longer the best thing ever, so a lot has changed. That, however, hasn't changed. That is still as crap as the day it was invented. <sighs> this is turning out to be a really crappy run. Uh, these are little dingles. They're like the boss dingle, except littler. <laughs> and the, the boss guy does actually summon those as well when you fight him. There is a, a third stage of dingle. Well, actually, there's another two stages. There's a, a large monster dingle, who is not the boss monster dingle. There is the boss monster dingle. And there is a medium monster dingle that splits up into two little dingles. We're going to have to invent new names for these guys because I can't keep going around calling them dingles. It just doesn't sound right. Uh, no. No. Don't like. Uh, for the record, the concept of the holy water leaves a puddle on the floor which damages enemies that walk on it. I don't mind that concept. Uh, what I mind is the fact that in order for it to work... Uh, I'll take that actually. I prefer that for the good, t uh, good pills. In order for it to work, you have to take damage, and I don't like that at all. I think that's a bad way of doing things. There are a lot of items like that as well. It's like, oh, take damage, and this happens. I don't want to take damage. That kind of defeats the point. But uh, you can now get lemon mishap, of course, from the which was in the first game. But there is a bigger, there's a pill now called lemon party, which does the same thing except over a massive area, and it's actually really useful. Monstro! This is actually my favourite boss. Uh, <laughs> he is a very common boss as well. I've watched, a, been watching a lot of other people playing Binding of Isaac, and on the floor too, it's almost always him. Him or Gerdy. Uh, but I, I like him. He's one who I can confidently fight without taking damage. Or that you watch me get my ass handed to me now. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it, I was just joking. There you go. Die in the face, please. Die in the face. Well, I suppose you're all face, aren't you? You're not going to die in the anything else. Ha ha! You died! A monstrous tooth has appeared in the basement. I'm going to have to get used to what... Basement boy achieved! Uh... I don't know if basement boy is for not picking up any health in the on those last two floors, or if it's for not losing any health on the last two floors. I know it's one of the two. Ooh, we're going to get that. Sin up. I don't know what sin up does, but it gives us three black hearts, and black hearts are awesome. We're also going to get the contract from below. Uh, basically, anything that drops in a room now, like coins, keys, bombs, etc., are all going to double up. Uh, at a cost, however. We've unlocked Eve and Samson. This is... Uh, as far as unlocks go, this is going well. Uh, actually, yep. Yeah. See, so this is worth going in now, apparently. That wasn't worth it! Uh, do something nice. We've got pills. Do my safety caps mean these are good? I've unlocked Lazarus. Okay. Balls of steel, we like that. And pheromones. Pheromones is, uh, gives a new effect to this uh, game. There's the the other dingle I was on about. He splits up into two. Yeah, pheromones charm enemies, and uh, they will then attack other enemies as well, or some will. 
think bosses still attack you as normal, or well, not so much. It's a bit complicated when it comes to the bosses, but generally speaking, it's a good thing. Oh, come on. Red chest here. Sure, why not? Oh, that was rubbish. You know what? I'm just going to teleport out of here. Because <laughs> I can. Have teleports, I might as well use it. Has something increased my damage? Luck up. We'll take that. You can see you got two of them there. That's the, the uh, contract from below playing up. These are worth blowing up when you can, the skulls. Occasionally, they do turn excuse me, into turrets, but they also drop tarot cards and black cards if you're lucky. And my luck is up, so maybe I'm lucky. I, I feel something has increased our damage. I don't know what it is, but something seems... I'm sure I'm doing more damage. That's the remote charged again. Have I, I haven't been to the item room yet. Let's go find that first. Don't really want to be doing a large room without actually doing... Ah, excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, there's one of my buddies uh, currently playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I wonder if he's recording it. I don't think he does YouTube stuff. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to press. I wanted to press that one. Oh yeah, my damage has gone up by one. Something has increased my damage. Okay. I'm not complaining. Uh, there's nothing in there now. <laughs> Those rooms down there are now worth going in. There, um, there's a there's a name for them. I don't remember what it is though. I did, did, no. Mm. Well, it's only half a. Oh, it's one whole half. Wow. But I can only need to lose one because I can teleport the frick out of there. Oh look, I found the item room. Shield it is. Oh, these are brilliant. I love these. You guys are gonna love these too. Basically, enemies that shoot projectiles at you. You can now block their projectiles with your projectiles. Oh, neat. Oh, I did, I've never explained what's so special about the black hearts, did I? Basically, if a... There we go. When you lose a black heart, when a black heart is depleted, it has a Necronomicon effect, and it, it attacks every enemy in the room. It hits every enemy in the room, which is really cool. So, yeah, projectile attacks now are slightly less of a worry. Still a worry, just not as much of a worry. Uh, even more bombs there, forget that. But we're not, we'll just get the key to make up for spending. And we'll uh, add to our donation machine. Because at 10, you unlock the blue map, which shows you all the secret room locations and stuff. Very useful item to have, of course. I don't think flies count as projectile enemies. I finally got something that helps me against projectiles, and now I don't get to use it because nothing is firing projectiles anymore. They're dead. Oh, there's something fired a projectile. See? No worries. I oh, love that. Uh, the Fallen. I don't actually know if he's new, per se, or if he's just sort of new to this early stage of the game. Like, in the original Binding Visor, did he not show up until Shoal? Which is, of course, after the womb, uh, which you never saw on my other series because I was so crap, I don't think I ever got past Mum's foot. Which, as a gamer, is quite embarrassing. Whoops, took a bit of stupid damage there. Come on, get dead. Shielded Tears doing their thing. Thank you. Uh, no, that's cheaty cheaty. I'm not going to be taking the shovel. That's the first time that's ever shown up there for me, though. Uh, two bombs should have looked for the secret room. I can see one. I can see two possible locations for it. Three, in fact. Uh, stuff it. The cage too. Uh, no, we're not going in there. It would appear. Ah, geesh. These guys are from, were in the original game, and I don't particularly mind them, because they always seem to appear on one of these things where they can't go up and down. And because they only shoot diagonal, if you chase them in like that, there's nothing they can do. Uh, remember you guys. Rooms, load more room designs now as well to what there was before. 
Wow, these guys are really taking a beating. Thank you. Thank you. And a couple of bombs. Yay! You know what would be really nice? Is if this item room gave us something interesting. But so far I have not done well for item rooms on this run. I've got that remote and I've got that the holy water that just makes a puddle. You can clock that. So Zora did two like possible locations for the secret room on this one. Ah, that was dumb damage. Oh well. <laughs> Tears down. That's not good. That was just downright stupid. Fun times. May have just shot myself in the foot. Well, there's a boss room and the shop. I don't want either of those right now. Ow. You know I was saying how I've improved at this game? I meant it. I really have. I am better at this game. I promise. Oh, there's a trinket. Uh, matchstick. Tastes like burning. And that one gives a higher chance of finding bombs. The safety cap just gives you a higher chance of finding pills. I'm going to go with the bomb. Oh! Go on, get dead, get dead. You die. Thank you. I believe the teleporter just takes you to a random room. I think it's pure. The fact we've landed so far in the shop and in the uh, item room have just been luck. <laughs> oh, my tears down is killing me. Come on. Oh yeah, standing on the web slows you down, that's why I'm flashing, it's not hurting me. Oh, and that, as if that got me. I'm in such a shitty situation now. Still, for the first video of this series, I didn't expect a particularly fantastic run, because one thing that's always been constant is that when I'm recording, everything goes to shit. But, uh, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind having a bad run every now and then. Uh, things will get better, I promise. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here. I would like to point out, though, I have actually dis um, gone past the womb and I think probably killed by Satan with a worse situation than I'm in now. But I once I once killed him whilst I only had half a heart. Like, no joke. No idea how I managed it. But I did, and that made me happy. He's gonna charge. Oh shit, that nearly killed me. Dead, get dead, and kill. Couple extra bombs. Destroy the poop! Ooh, oh, I don't need it now. Pills. Well, at least it's not tears down. Oh, lovely. Paralysis. Always a good one to take in a room full of enemies, that one. Uh, I would really like to emphasize the sarcasm of that comment. That was a really sarcastic comment, I promise. It's never a good idea to take paralysis in a room full of enemies. That, you know something, I'm denying that so much now that my denial is beginning so sarcastic. I promise you it's a bad idea, it only affects you. There we go. Where is the item room? You're not an item room. Ooh. Ooh! Well, that could change the game. I, I want, I want Guppy Four. Give me Guppy Four. That could very well be a game changer. I'm not so low on health now. I am still incredibly low on attacking, but I'm not so low ha low on health. Is that Dingle going to fry himself? He did, didn't he? Ah! Let's get the bombs. So yeah, expect these videos to be longer than they were in my previous series, because, uh, like I said, I'm better at the game. I genuinely am, that's the thing. Hey, you found it. Shielded tears, go. Yeah, 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 what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? Huh? That one nearly got me, I'm going to stop being cocky now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this has made me a happy chappy. 
I've wanted that for so long, I've never actually got it before though. Yeah, it's a constant laser beam across the length of the room. The, this is technology 2. Technology 1 just fires it, uh -uh, like it's tears as well. Oh, and we've kept our shielded tears, so we've got the shielded tears and a constant laser across the freaking room. Nice. Uh, and none of that is going to help us against these. <laughs> I don't know about the damage technology does either. I don't think it's particularly powerful, but I suppose that sort of uh, makes sense really, because it does. It is a really constant beam. If it was particularly powerful, then it would be really overpowered. Well, that went well. Balls of steel. Yay for more hearts. Well, then we just turn this run around. I'm tempted. This is a boss trap, though. If I take those, there's going to be two consecutive bosses. And first one's Chubbs. He's not too bad. I don't mind that. I can deal. I can deal. Hello, Chubbs. Fun fact for anyone, if you didn't know, drop a bomb when he charges at you, he will swallow it and stop. Like that. Until it blows up in his face, obviously. Who have we got next? Who have we got next? Ah, heap. Yeah, not a massive problem again. Uh, my range is doing a bit of a nasty there. Ooh! That's probably the best tarot card there is, in my personal opinion. That fully heals you, it damages everything in the room, and it, sh it shows the entire map as well, plus secrets. So we shall save that for the next floor. Uh, mainly because I have most of the map already open and this room is nearly done. And I don't need fully healing. Although, to be fair, I only have the one heart anyway, so fully healing is not going to do me a whole heck of a lot of good. Any any prizes for killing you? A couple more keys? Why not? So yes, that's a boss trap room. That was a mini boss at the top that we've already fought. So that's so far three bosses we have fought on this floor. <laughs> <laughs> that coin's so not worth the effort. I know a lot of big YouTubers and that will do this whole diagonally thing through it. Oh yes, that's going to go very nicely with our contract from below. Money is no longer an issue, guys. Money, keys and bombs, in fact, are no longer an issue. And we have Gurdy, which isn't too bad, actually, especially with our shielded tears. See, I don't mind Gurdy. Gurdy's stationary, which means she's easy to keep an eye on. And I know she summons stuff, but with technology just wreck wrecking face at the moment, and my shielded tears blocking your projectiles, Gurdy, you don't really have much of a say in this one. You are dead. You are every kind of dead right now. Come on. Just, just accept the inevitable. Gertie, uh, it looks like she's taking a really long time to kill. That's not actually just because I'm weak. Gertie has like a massive amount of hit points. Uh, speed and damage up. Even better. Uh, what is my damage at anyway? We're at two now. Wow. <laughs> well, that'll make our shield it is somewhat better. Uh, no deal with the devil room. That's a bit disappointing. Wibbly 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 or Mario style like. The depth one. I, did I choose the new save file? I, this is the new save file, isn't it? Ah, there we have one of our new beggars. He accepts keys. Let's give him a couple, shall we? Let's go down to two, I think. No? Well, fuck you too. I have literally no issues with swearing on this series. It doesn't matter in the slightest because if you're watching a Binding of Isaac video and you can't take a bit of swearing, you have issues. Seriously. Uh, paralysis? More paralysis! How about no to the paralysis? We'll use our sun card, in fact. That in should increase my... I believe it maybe increases damage, not uh, attacking, but it has unlocked my whole map, which is the reason I've used it. Oh look, paralysis can actually attack... Uh, my laser beam actually attacks these from the front as well. How cool is that? They're the same as the knights from the first one, except without legs. Uh... Oh, this is a tough call. 
See, this one gives us temporary invincibility, but it does take a lot of rooms to charge. Sure, let's go with that. We've uh, we've got our benefit from Guppy's Paw. We've got a load of hearts. Soul hearts. Blue hearts. I don't... I, keep, I know as a fact I call all the different colored hearts wrong things. Like blue hearts I call soul hearts, but I think they're called spirit hearts. And I think... Um... The white hearts are called, are called eternal hearts or something. I don't know. Let's just go with white and blue, shall we? I wish this technology could go through rocks like brimstone does. That would make life so much easier. Oh, our tears are doing a lot more damage now. I just noticed that. That's the first time we've hit him. Yay! Ooh, 50% off everything in the shops. So now... We not only make crap ton more money, get a crap ton more consumable items such as bombs, keys and money, but everything costs less as well. Uh, things are going well. Let's go this way. Another new creature here. These guys, these are more annoying later on. You see how he split off in, into two pieces? Well, into a, another piece. Look at that. Four keys. <laughs> oh, uh, he split up that. That was a... Uh, a trait from uh, later on, sorry, he splits up again into another stage. Uh, some attack flies. And a golden chest. With a little chest inside. And a bunch more keys. Let's give him a couple more keys, why not? Really? One more. Alrighty then. Ooh! Tammy's head, reusable tibbers. This one's cool. Check it out. Boom! Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'm forfeiting invincibility for that. <laughs> uh, there's only one room this way. It's not the boss room, so I think doing this was probably a really dumb idea. Uh, is there anything in here I particularly need? No. I will, however, blow that up just in case. The world! That just reveals the entire map, so that'll be useful for the next floor. Cool. Uh, what have we got down there? There's something down there. But I don't know what that is. I mean, I've probably seen it before, like, when I've come across it before, but never noticed it on my map, so I don't know what don't recognize the sort of icon for it. Aha! Oh, that was a dumb bit of damage there. I stepped in the creep. See, and Tammy's head recharges once per once per room, so that's really nice as well. Oop, fully recharged. Oh, it's one of these. Oh. This still requires two bombs to get into it, and possibly a third bomb once you're in it. Yep, there we go. Now we have, I believe this to be Isaac's bedroom. You can see there we have the bed. You can actually sleep in that and it will heal you as well. But also underneath the rug, a ladder. Dun dun dun. That sometimes lets you skip levels, sometimes it takes you to just an item, and sometimes it gives you this. It's like a deal with the devil room, except a massive one. <laughs> Plus, we have a couple of these as well. Well, I don't have any more keys, so you know what? I'm going to blow you up. Money! Take all the money. Right, so, what do we have here? Well, we have the Nun's Habit, which uh, charges your item whenever you take damage. That's this one. We have the Jar, which lets you pick up hearts that you can't use at the moment and use them later. Kind of like a fairy in a jar from Zelda. This one here converts soul hearts back into regular hearts, the blue ones into red ones. This item I have never seen. It is... I have. I should point out, I have open up uh, on another screen here that, uh, all the things. This increases my damage, but it also increases the chances of champion enemies appearing, which might not be a bad thing. And this final item looks like a handbag. Mom's purse. Isaac can now hold two trinkets at a time. Hmm. Let's go for that. Go for the more damage. Ooh, I've unlocked a Zazel. 
I quite like Azazel, but he does have some massive dip drawbacks as well. We shall have a look at him in a future episode. We go, yeah. I believe if I had gone down the trap door, I'd have been able to skip the floor, but I don't actually want to do that. Right, so red hearts are no longer a use to us. At all. Does mean our chances of getting a deal with the devil room is significantly improved. Because the, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, we need to concentrate. Where are we at? Where? There we go. There's one. There's usually more than one. Oh no, just one, that's fine. Uh, the requirements for a deal, deal with the Devil Room are that you don't take any red heart damage, and I don't have any red hearts. This is a, a mob trap room. This does three waves of enemies, but it is just more normal enemies like these guys, than rather than uh, bosses, like the boss trap. My tears are really slow. That in the middle there, by the way, is a trinket called the Wiggle Worm, and uh, I shall pick it up just to show you guys what it does. But uh, I will not be keeping it, you will see why. Hey guys, you guys don't pose as half as much of a threat as you used to. Not with my laser in your freaking face. Is that the room done? Yep. Uh, a couple spiders from that one, never mind. And some more soul hearts, yeah, well, blue hearts, soul hearts, whatever. Here we go, wash my tears. <laughs> it affects my laser as well. Oh, that's cool. You know what, I'm going to keep it just because of the laser beam. Because that's going to hit a bigger area, isn't it? That's cool. I believe it also does actually give you a damage upgrade as well. Uh, it might only be a slight one, but it's, I do think it's a thing. Woo! <laughs> I did not... I didn't expect it to affect my laser. That's so cool. Look at that. I can hit a much bigger area with my laser now. I like that. Uh, oh, these guys you'll remember. They haven't changed at all. They are still horrible, nasty little fucks. All the bombs. Uh, I've only got six coins. Not really worth going to the shop, I don't suppose. Champion. That's what champions are, by the way. They're the different coloured ones, and when you kill them, they tend to drop a consumable, which is why I picked up that champion's belt. Uh, seven for a gold key. That just gives you two keys. Or we can go for three and have another heart and put some in our donation machine. There's our blue map. Wonderful. You can't just spam donation machines, by the way. If you've, if you've got like 100 coins, you can't just stick 100 coins in it because after a while it jams at a sort of random interval on every, every run. But it does carry over to, you know, for every run on that save file. Monstro 2. Again, don't have much of a problem with this guy. I like him, he's fine. Oh, that was a complete waste. Oh well. But, that's fine. We should... Oh, I forgot about that. I literally completely forgot about that. <laughs> Doesn't give you much warning when you do that brimstone anything, does he? Yeah, I can do shit like that too, Monstro. See, I've got my wiggly laser beam. Come on. Let's uh... Ah, yeah, I got out of the way of that. Didn't get out of the way that time. My bad. Come on. Yes. See, he is, of course, stronger than the first Monstro, but... I don't think fighting him is much different. It's still a case of, you know, constantly attack him and then dodge when he does specific attacks like that. And then when he jumps, move away, because he's going to land on your ass if you don't. Oh, I kind of just left myself in for that one, didn't I? This is going badly. I'm just saying, oh, he's not so bad. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, we are not doing much damage, though. That is quite apparent. Oh, I've just worked out why as well. You know what? Hang on. I can sort this. Uh, if we hold down that button there, there we go. 
Yeah, I've just worked out we weren't doing much damage to him, and that's because our tears were all missing him. No way, no way. Because of the uh, wiggly worm. Same thing that made our, <coughs> our laser. Oh, shit, walked into that. Yeah, same thing that made our laser wobbly, also made our tears wobbly, and as a result, there was all dodging him. Oh, really? There we go. So you still get my devil deal room, but <laughs> there's a whole lot I can do in there. I also get a free item. Oh. So, uh, see, if I pick that up, I'm going to die. But what that does... There we go. It gives us nine lives. So I, I undied. I sort of un died and undied. Uh, let's move on. Yeah, I now have one heart, but I have nine one hearts, if that makes sense. So if I, I can die multiple times now, which will prove to be very annoying at a later date, I can assure you. But for now, we shall accept it. Hopefully we can get some blue hearts on top of that, which would be wonderful. Whoa! Ah, these are both champions. Damn it. Well, you did. Uh huh, uh huh. Our shot speed is also really slow. I can't help but notice that. Uh, alright. Oh, those skulls flying around, by the way, they don't. Uh, you can't attack them, you can't kill them. They just randomly die when everything else in the room has been killed. And we opened up a secret room, that was convenient. That's definitely a good thing. I should probably use this as well, actually, so we can see where we're going. Um, let's see, we've got the shop up there, which is probably not worth going to, at least not yet. Uh, the dice room over this way. That's another new room view. Oh, well, they sort of suck you towards them. The di this dice room is a, another new room which you guys won't have seen before, and we're not going to. You might not get to see it now either. I've just noticed I've only got two keys. That was dumb. I keep taking some really stupid damage. Oh, thanks for all the health. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, tooth shots. So every now and then I'll launch a tooth, which does more damage. There we go. Uh, it's alright, I suppose. Not detrimental to us, so that's fine. I just want another, one more key, please. Guys, give us a key. Come on, game. Give me a key. You know it's a bad day when that does more damage than, uh, than your regular attack does. Range down. Not really an issue. Now, I could do this. What have we got in here? Gum heart. So not worth it. Uh, die, 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 die. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Come on. Please. You just want to... Oh, come on. See, that's the third stage I was on about. I have to kill them three times sometimes, and two troll bombs. Lovely. Ooh, very lovely. Thank you. Thank you, troll bombs. Right, secret room is this way as well. Oh, my good grief. Ah. Please just get dead and stay that way. I would like that very much. Please and thank you. Shit. Well, maybe I should kite the monster there. There we go. If I've got it, I might as well make the most of it. Oh, we have keys now, so we can sh I can show you that other room. Oh, dear. So, yeah, this is me better at the game. <laughs> so much better, as you can clearly tell. I will point out some of these videos may be quite long. Others will still be quite... Oh, wait, there's a secret room here as well. Others will be somewhat shorter because sometimes runs just don't take long if i get a really good build from the start for example all the monies all of a sudden the shop is worthwhile fantastic now we have to walk all the way back around there as well 
Oh, no. Oh, everything is so spread apart. Right, so first I'm going to show you this dice room. It could royally screw us, by the way. I should like to point that out now. What this does, depending on the number... Uh, I don't know what each number does. I will have to point that out as well. But it basically re-rolls something. In this case, it has re-rolled our items. Holy hell! Alright, that takes forever to charge, but look at that! And I am very, very slow now. I do have a magnetism effect. Alright, so my range is practically zero. But... My damage... It says it's only two still, so that doesn't... It doesn't seem to recall that, but I... That's massive. Unfortunately, it also takes forever and a day to charge. Oh. Get the money. Get the money. And the floor hurt them as well afterwards. Ooh. Right, the, the tears are being caused by Monstro's lung. That's what's causing me to vomit loads at once like that. Um, they also have 35 bombs now and 6 keys. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can dig that. If everything would just die like this, then I, I'm not going to complain about the recharge time. <laughs> uh, portable sl uh, th mm. Nothing there really worth getting at all. So, we're going to donate to this. Um, take all my money. Store upgrade to level 1. That's a good start. Um, take the money. Take it. Take it all. And I've skinned. That's lasted longer than I expected it to. That was a really crap shot. Right, well, let's go take on our boss. Uh, this isn't going to be easy. I might do absolutely massively huge damage to him, but it's going to take me 10 minutes to do so, apparently. Uh, hi, guys. Let's, uh, let's all just be friends. Charge, charge, charge! Really? You just farted on me. There we go. Aww. Troll bomb. See, told you they turned into turrets. <laughs> but he did. It also dropped a tarot card, so have a look at that. For fuck's sake, this thing takes forever to charge. The chariot. Strength. Right, well, I'll use the chariot on the boss and I can come back for that strength card, I suppose. Oh shit, forgot to charge it before I came in the room. That one. There we go. Key, charge. Ah, oh. That charge rate is determined by your shot speed, by the way. So our shot speed is really low now. Oh, it's mom. Oh, this is bad. Well, I don't know. That wasn't... Could have been so much worse. Ow! Um... Um... Alright, I'm doing some serious damage. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> but the cat brings me back. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use the chariot last time. Okay. Go oh, on, stamp on me, bitch. Alright, charge up my shot scan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I want to see a piece of mom. Oh, crap. Missed. Super slow shots. Oh. All right, this isn't going well. Got another fly there for some reason. Where's that come from? Oh, it really does a number on it, though, when I make contact. <laughs> Might be able to do this. 
If I get really lucky. Oh, jeez, man. I suppose I could use bombs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That wasn't quite as successful as anticipated. No. Okay. It does some massive damage, though, when I hit. Oh, and I got dead again. Uh, well, I have a feeling I know how this run's going to end. Why is it purple? Oh, it didn't charge fast enough. Come on, charge there. Maybe like three hits if I can land them. Yes! His was cornered. <laughs> His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Shiny. Unlocked the womb. Unlocked challenge 20. Unlocked oh, another heartbringer. It's a false metal loose. Cure of Mayball bandages. So yes, that is the Binding of Isaac, ladies and gentlemen. And on our next run, we will use... Who should we use for the next one? I will show you Azizel. Azazel. We probably won't be using him very often, but we will use him on the next run. Um, Mum's foot, by the way, is not the end. There is much, much more to come.